Why carry around the books when you can take just a few cards to your games? The Deck of Many makes easy to use and easy to transport quick reference cards for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, containing information on monsters, weapons, conditions, NPCs, spells, and even a deck of many things. Go visit deckofmany.com and pre-order your set of animated spell cards today. Hello and welcome to the D&D Grandma and the Family That Games Together podcast. For more about our history, please check us out on Twitter at D&D Grandma or on Facebook at The Family That Games Together. We hope you have as much fun listening to our story as we did creating it. Now, sit back and enjoy. So, where we last left off, you guys packed up your cottage, and you were heading down to your hideout. Were you going with them, Sariel, or are you no, staying in the No, I was mansion? staying in my mansion, in my luxurious <laughs> mansion that's not a sewer, and um, <laughs> being ready to be their kind of, like, inside informant. Okay. All right, so you make your way to this underground sewer hideout, and when you... You make your way through the upper city and you find the location that the doctor gave you. Open up the down the alleyway, open up the grate, and make your way down. And you find out it is a long abandoned sewer and it has been f- pretty much cleaned out. Like you couldn't tell that oh, that what it was. I mean, other than the fact that it's tunnels, but uh, everything is pretty well smoothed out. And you do make your way through this network and you find several rooms with bunks in them. And uh, it's clear that this was an off the beaten path. With bugs? No, no, it's pretty well kept. Okay, gotcha. It's pretty well kept. Okay, all right. There's sconces that have been um, added into the wall, so there is dim lighting. You can find your way around pretty well. I light my hand up. Is there any. Do I. Mm -hmm. uh, Need to light any torches or anything? Well, not with your hand. You're fine. And it adds to the already dim light, so it brightens it up a little bit. And you make your way down, you find your, the supply rooms and all that stuff. You find stocks of dry goods and dry rations. Okay. Um, there's changes of clothing, uh, stockpile of water, things like that. Okay. And you have a long rest for the evening. Yes. Yay. That's important. Okay. So spell slots and hit points are all back at max. And what I need next is a plan. What's happening today? I want to sleep. <laughs> Is that Victoria? Some or is it, uh, <laughs> I want to throw some things. Is it a downtime day, or do you guys have a, a quest, a mission? What are we doing? I want to go to the Didn't armory. Didn't he just, yeah. Okay. Didn't he just tell us something about the um, necromancer, the city guard was murdered that night? When a member of the city guard was murdered on a specific time? Yes. Yes. It was in we the upper city. We can go and take a look at that. Okay. I think my father has to like instate me as a general manager or something of of this textile business. Okay. So that'll happen over there. He'll begin brushing you up on what you need to know to be able to rub elbows in those conversations. Mm-hmm. All right. So you're going to the armaments. Right. Um, the place where they, they can make me the special. They're already working on items for you. Right. Okay. They're they're already working on the great axe. Right. I think. My wind up, wand of fireball. Wand, which is going to be behind his because he put in his request earlier. And I forget how many javelins of lightning, but you already ordered some. I already did? Yeah. yeah I have to go back to the I have to go back to the episodes and listen and see oh, how many. Sorry. I should have. I wrote it down. That's but okay. It was at least, you, definitely the plus one great axe. Right. That was. And it was at least one, I feel as though two. I feel as though you ordered two more javelins of lightning. Right. Uh, that was, they told you two weeks. It's been like eight or nine days, so you're a couple days away okay. from your from your items being ready. Uh, so when you check in with her, that'll be speed that process right. along. You are going to investigate the dead guard. I can. Okay. What else do we have on our plate? We have that contraption, that box someone left for us. 
did we brought that with us. You brought that with you? Yeah. I need wisdom saving throws from everybody. Hello? Nope, not you, it's Ariel. Everyone oh, but Ariel. Seriously. Just hmm. see what? You didn't want to bring the box? <laughs> hold on, your, hold on to your numbers. Okay. Sashim. Three. Three? Mm-hmm. You get a second point of corruption. Oh. <laughs> How uh, can I lift these points of corruption? Sashim's going to have to investigate that. Uh, Tor. Nine. You take a second point of corruption. Umbra. Fifteen. You take a second point of corruption. Ooh. Seven. Nulara. You take one point of corruption. What the hell? Ember. So there's <laughs> pretty much nothing. You're fine. <laughs> oh, wow. That was, you had to throw high. You're fine. Wow. New Lara. Wow. No changes in you. Just you mark two points of corruption. That could get you interesting. You said one or two? You have one. One. Yeah. What is it? Um, I don't even know what the hell it means, but I'm going to ask and you're going to be like, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> let's try to role play this out. Why would a second point be more? It's the same corruption, it's just that you're more deep into it? Mechanically, there's no change. It's just the Longer. points could keep going up, and the more points you... There's tiers. Okay. There's different tiers. If you hit a second tier, there's another effect. If you hit a third tier, there's another effect. So they're just marching closer to their second tier. And when does this end? Uh-huh. You're gonna, your characters oh. are going to have to investigate. It's like five points tier one, Ooh. five points tier two, five points... Oh, okay. Okay. When you all wake up in the morning, no noticeable change uh, to our Umbra, That's Sashim, true, yeah. you all seem the way you were. Mm. Ember, you're fine, you notice nothing. But you all notice a terrible stench emitting from New Lara. Oh, oh, the oh, worst shit. thing that could ever happen. Oh, no. <laughs> That's true. The worst the thing, thing that could ever happen. of death. Your body has begun to emit a terrible stench of rotting flesh. Oh. You have disadvantage on persuasion checks. And that's only one point? Imagine if it was ten points. People, I rolled my that, God, right, right? people yep. are running away from me. Yep. So mark that off. You have disadvantage on persuasion checks. How noticeable is it? Like how far, like how close, to, is it just like BO? Like I have to be close to her? Or like yeah. No, you, gotta be, no, you have to be her. close to her. You have to be close to her. It's like you get up and go, oh, what the frick is that? You know, when you get up on her. <laughs> That's the worst of the kid. Thanks. New Lara, I know we're in a sewer, but you still are going to have to bathe, just so you know. <laughs> I still have to what? Bathe, just so you know. <laughs> is it the sewer? You want a pencil in your eyeball? <laughs> that was in character. Sure, that was Umbra telling you. You're playing it off. <laughs> oh, oh God, that would kill me! Oh my God, that's so bad. <laughs> I'd rather say that I was a thief huh? than stink. Oh, I swear. Stink. <laughs> so we're all sitting around at breakfast, and we've all. And nice. whoever's sitting next to Nalara notices. Oh, I, why? Thank you, DM, for uh, pointing that out. I rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Mercer, I'm having great fun with your corruption rules. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, thanks a lot. <laughs> My so sister, not so much. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or me. <laughs> okay, so, Ember, who are you taking with you to go investigate the guard's death? Are you all going? Are you sending to Sariel your whereabouts? What? I'm sorry, what guard's death? Where are you uh, going? The- so, the necromancer... The necromancer escaped into the city, and apparently there was a, uh, a guard who was killed... Um, in that part of the city on that night. Oh, okay. So I have no idea how to track anything down. It seems fairly vague, but I would like to go and look at that. And I'd also like to, in game, real, like in game time, how long has it been since they had that manuscript, if I can go and pick it up? It should be due. It's done? It should. And no, in terms of the timing they gave you, yeah, it should be due. She had told you a day or two, a, a day or two ago. Ah, I can't, and I want to go pick up that. All right, let's do it. That was, it seems so. Does long anybody want to come with us? Uh, oh, oh, with me. <coughs> I'm gonna go. It seems like Umbra's gonna come with me, uh, but I do recommend we all take a shower and wash up first. I'm gonna chill. You're gonna stay back here? No. I'm well, you did go out to go to the, to the store. Oh, that's right. I'm yeah. on my way back. Good. So you're not I going with to go anyway. No, I'm going to stay. Okay. Gonna say. okay. Not, not while I'm stinky, I'm not going anywhere. And if it's I'll go with stay behind. <laughs> 
As long as Tor stays. <laughs> She's so upset. She's <laughs> stinky. You have no idea. Okay. So you're going. I'll go with those because we you're now like know Tor's stinky, coming man. back. You're just going to do live in the sewer? Okay. Because we can't <laughs> leave him all alone. <laughs> okay. Knowing the people are after You said him. you're coming back with me? No, I said since you're coming back, I'll stay behind okay. with you. Okay, Umbra, what are you doing? I'm going to go walk around. Okay. The so, three. the three of... Okay. Are you sending anything to Sariel? No, we have a 9 p.m. chicken time. This 9 p.m. chicken morning. Okay. <laughs> Nothing is okay. urgent. I don't so, want to scare her. First stop. First stop, the book. Like, do I have, a, like, a store... Yeah, I would say your father has uh, not necessarily a store per se, but there is... An office? Yes, there is a business that he has. He deals primarily uh, more on the wholesale end of it than on the retailer. His, he sh- he's the supplier for retailers, so to speak. Am I on like a main street that they know of? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. you'd be able... You, you might see them walking around. Let's the see. Tremaine offices? Like well, an importer? Maybe there'll be roles for that. We'll see what happens. Ooh. Okay, so you're going to the book first. Mm-hmm. Okay. You uh, approach the Iron Academy, a familiar building, you've been there before, knock on the door, and a young girl, the one who greeted you the first time, answers the door. Oh, yes. Hello. You okay? Mm, not particularly. Why? What's wrong? Uh, Lady Drusilia went missing. Uh, which one is she? Is she the one who was dis- uh, deciphering our book? Yep. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names. When's the last time you saw her? You didn't see her? She was on her way to see you. Oh, crap, Ola. When was she trying to find us? Last, last night? Last night, okay. We weren't home last night, so sorry about that. I'm going to go and check in in my house. What did she discover in the book? Did she tell you anything about the book? She seemed rather rather perturbed by what she discovered. Oh, okay. She ran out pretty quickly. She had the book with her? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, great. Is there anything else? Where does she live? Here. She it's looks, like it's sort of like a convent. Oh, it's a convent. Okay, okay. If we cannot find her, we're gonna check back in with you uh, later this evening, just because maybe she she'll come back. Okay, we did report it to the city guard too that she's missing. Okay. We okay. sent a runner this morning. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. All right. I'm on my way. Yeah. I guess good. let's go home. Go, no, not back to the sewer, but to the place. But to and, our, yeah. our, our old house. cottage. Maybe a she's cottage. like I don't know. Probably Somebody might have seen her. thinking, but maybe she's just sitting on the porch waiting for us. Hopefully she left a note. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Yeah. You came with us? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, so the three of us. Okay. Uh, back to the cottage. Anything there? You go back to your cottage. And <laughs> sitting on the um, the stoop, leaned up against the, the door, is the manifest up against the door frame. Pick it up, flip to the last page. The last two pages have been torn out. Oh. Make an investigation check, Ember. <laughs> okay. Big the last two pages have been torn out. I can make an investigation. You Another can, one's be in the, jail. I'll be the last one. You, I'm, I'm going to my hand okay. to the book. Twelve? Twelve? In dice prison. No, it's still good. Not yet. You see a little bit of smudge along the binding. Could be red ink, could be blood. All right. Maybe we should ask people around the manor see if they saw anything, heard anything yeah. from last night, from the time we left. We must have just missed her. Yeah, we did probably did. Out the house. Yeah, let's see. Is Wendell around? Yeah. Is Wendell just outside cleaning? High or low? Low. Low? He's not. I rolled high. Sorry. Okay. Um, Ten or lower, he would have been. I know. You're so clever. Um, you said low. What do you want from me? Anybody else around? Well, there's a normal just people, the hustle and bustle on the, uh, in the servants' cottages. Yeah, I mean, okay. Let me, I'm going to go see if I can grab somebody randomly. Okay. Make another investigation check. Oh, God, why do you do these things to me? Now, why would I make you roll D20s in a D20-based game? I know, right? Investigation? <laughs> D twenty based game, you're an ass. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Oh, most people were in bed when, when like, because you guys didn't get back to your cottage until like ten o'clock at night to clean it out. Mm. Yeah. Most of the servants were already in bed before then. Like, no one was even around. What time did we leave our cottage last night? By the time you packed everything up, 
And you guys were moving lickety split, right? And you don't have like a ton of worldly possessions. I'd say you could have been on on the road within a half hour. Who would be on the streets at that time? That you grasping at straws. Like this morning? I mean, anybody hustling and bustling. The question is, is, who do you even talk to? Maybe we should take this back to our sewer hideout. I want to go see to and the- read it and see if we can kind of decipher, even with the last two pages taken out. Uh, has it I been translated? S- oh, it's been, it's been translated. Uh, but when okay. I went to go and see her, didn't she say she only had a page or two left? Mm-hmm. So nothing happened in those first few pages. The, mm-hmm. the real info was on those last two pages. I want to go to the manor house, and I want to ask uh, for Joba. Okay. All right. Easy enough. And um, Norman answers the door. Um, He's good. Norman. Oh, yes. Good morning. Um... Did you see anybody at our house last night, nosing around, anytime after 10 o'clock, 10, 30, 11? I, I apologize, my lady, but I did not. Do you know of anybody who would have been out here later in the evening we could talk to? Somebody left us something, and we're just interested in trying to track them down. Oh, no, I'm sorry, but I do not. Did you see a member of the <coughs> Iron Mage, is how it's called? The Iron Academy. Iron Academy. Did you see anybody from the Iron Academy around? I did not. I'm sorry. Okay. Lord Cormion is still here, right? He's still in the manor house, yes. Was he out last night? I think he was, yes. And his voice is getting lower now as you're talking. I'm trying to be discreet as well. I have no other question. What do you guys think? I think he took her. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Something happened. Mm. Let's take the book and go back to the sewer. I don't know... Unless we get in touch with Wendell, the doctor. I think we need to talk to Wendell. Well, that's He's normally him. out at this time, at that time at night, right? Not late, but I mean, taking care of things on the street might know some more. Let's, well, where is he? Oh, he was uh, he was out running some errands for the Lord Mayor. He shouldn't be gone too long. Okay. You want to wait around for him? Yep. Let's <coughs> wait for him. Uh, it's about two hours before he returns. Okay. But Wendell does come before you see the, you hear the horses. You hear the horses long before you see mm-hmm. Oh, good morning. Sorry if I was gone and you needed me. Mm. Always good to see you, Amber. And you, Sashim. Mm. Hi. Wendell. Um, Amber. <laughs> Hello. What can I do for you? No, I didn't see her, but that is not good information. She's not like that. You know her? Mm-hmm. Most people who do who move around the upper city know her. She's very well respected in the city. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Um, where would she go if she had to hide? Back to the Iron Academy, I would think. Dang it, someone definitely has her. <laughs> do you know where Lord Flappy was last night? <clears throat> Lord, Lord Flappy? Flappy? Is that how we do Lord Flappy? So, you know, he's a bat, he has flappy wings. Bat. I know he had a business meeting in the upper city. Uh huh. And I, I don't recall seeing him return to the manor house. Yep. Okay. I'm at a loss. Take the book with us. Yeah. We can take the book. I mean, we know she's missing now. We can be on the lookout for her. But okay. where do you where do you look next? I have no idea. Um, I want to go back. I'm gonna pick up the sending stone. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna inform Sariel of what we've learned. Okay. How long does it last for sending, oh, 25 words? Mm-hmm. It's like Twitter. 25 words in total? Or that she we can say can... 25, I can say 25. Correct. That, that. She can send 25 words here, you can send 25 words back. Okay. All right. Casting sending. Okay. Noodles. Does that work? <laughs> I'll allow it. No, I'll allow no, it. no. I'll allow it. It's a password to catch everybody up. No. Um, she sends 25 words, of which you get the gist of what has just occurred. Wow. Sounds <clears throat> like a mystery. By the way, business is really hard. Send my love. <laughs> nice. She knows nothing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Wait, send my love. How's your sewer? <laughs> I can't respond. <really> <laughs> Anybody else have any ideas?
yes, I love. Don't forget, I'm back in the. Um, no, we're in the sewer now. Oh, you're in the sewer. Oh, you go back to the sewer, so you yeah, don't yeah, yeah. go to investigate the the dead guard. Nope, not yet. Okay. This is very important. Somebody is missing. Okay. Dead guy is gonna stay dead for a little while. Yes. Well, apparently she must have been waylaid on the way to our cottage last night. No, no I she on the way back. There. You think? I don't think so. She was the two last pages. Her I guess book was there. Though. Well, yeah, she, but with two you're pages. You're right. You're right. She could have so been I, me. Before. I think she was got. She got waylaid mm. by somebody, mm-hmm. and of course, then it would be a lot of questions would have been raised if we didn't have the book. They bought the book, but with two pages missing. I think it's the opposite. I think she okay. knew those pages were really important, so she ripped them out, left the book as like a message, like, "Hey guys, I'm ready." And then when she went to leave, someone said, hey, what are you doing? And took her. Yeah, but why was that red, blood. red ink why would they or take blood away? Why the, would they take in the away? book to keep her quiet? I think it could also be a message. It's yeah. definitely a message. Yeah. It's a Cormion message. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like I, think nice it was him. I think it's him. Yeah. I mean... So what, we gotta go track him down? We've been yeah, that's the thing. Like, him. we either t- go talk to him or... Talk to him. <clears throat> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, talk how do you investigate this any further? I don't think we can. I, don't, I think I don't we know just got to. Talk no, to he's him. not going to want to talk to us. No, no then he'll know we're on to him with this also. But okay, here's my thing. Okay, I have a feeling that if we just are like, oops, oh well, that she's going to be a vampire in four days, and we're all screwed. So so and you, you, you think he's going to go give up any now? information? No, I don't think he's going to give up information. I just don't know of anything else. I don't want to just let it, like, ignore no, it. No, no, no. I think we should search for her. Try to search for her as much as we could. Okay. Where do you think she is? The crypts? <sighs> well, she's not back in the Iron Academy, right? No, we could check back there, but... Okay. I like to trace her steps. All right. I mean, we kind of just did that, but she was at the Iron Academy, we were told that she was going to search for us. We went back to our old place, and that book was sitting on the front porch. I don't think we went inside, but... So then, I mean, that's kind of where the, the trail goes cold. I don't, unless you want to go and run some investigation checks. It's up to you. Um, I mean, whatever we can to get her. Get okay, any so answers what, on her. So what are... I, I'd like a, a solid plan, so okay. I, I know what to... We need a solid plan, people. Other yeah. than going and... Let's go with uh, Laura, um, Umbra's suggest- suggestion. What was my suggestion? S- your suggestion of, uh, of um, investigating. What? Investigators? I guess we could go back to the Iron Maiden place and... Uh, no, nope, that's not the right word. Iron Maiden. It's not the right word. <laughs> the Iron oh, Academy. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't think that's a, throw, a stone you should throw. What? I love that she got the wrong word. That is not it a wasn't stone that. Victoria should It throw. was because she said Iron Maiden. No, you said Iron Maiden. Yeah, yeah what was I supposed to say? Academy. Iron Academy. Iron Academy. Yeah, right. That's okay. That's okay. Iron Maiden I'm, would come to your, to your mind, too, anyway. <laughs> All right, so I think that's a very good suggestion. And okay. start interviewing people, I guess? I don't know. You know I want to know if there's a place that she would people. hide out. All right. All right, so let's... You can ask that question of those people. Okay. So okay. Guess. So we're um, all going back up to the upper city. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We're going to go with that plan. Okay. Everybody make investigation checks. Oh. For the record. 18. Okay. 18. Okay. 10. Okay. Lovely. Crit 20. And then plus 1, 21. Minus one. one. Minus one. Minus one. Right. Eight. Okay. Oh, boy. You guys are all progressing through the city. I'm going to say that you're together, but kind of like fanning out like separate sides of the street. That's mm-hmm. kind of how I'm envisioning yeah. this. Okay, and you're making your way up through the commercial district. And uh, Nulara, you actually end up finding that cleric of Eldath, the one that got, got you the potion of that healed Joba. Mm-hmm. You're not able to gather a whole lot more information than what you've already deduced by on your own. It was so late at night, no one saw her. Who rolled the 18s? That was Sashim. Uh, me. And the two of you. Okay. So Sashim, mm. you do find one person who works in what's effectively their version of the public library, who was working late and did see Lady Drusilia leave the Iron Academy late at night in a hurry. And she was holding a tome close. 
and she left it in the direction of the Mayorial Island. While this is happening, you're in the in your shop with your father, Sariel, and you're like, yes, I got it. I, I got the TPS reports that yes, <laughs> doing the log books. And you see a familiar red haired Goliath walk right past the storefront. <laughs> I'm now, Tor, with your 19 investigation, you don't find out any new information about this incident. Right. However, right next to uh, her, right next to uh, Sariel's textile shop, there is a jewel cutters store right. um, where they bring in and they'll cut jewelry and then you know they'll polish uh, mm -hmm. gemstones for you. You do see three large human men push their way out the door. And there is a gnomish man wearing a, a, an apron and he's got like work gloves on. Right. And you can see that he was in front of the door when they walk when they walk out and he gets sprawled out on the sidewalk. And the two men, two of the men just start walking away and the third one is has a sack that he takes off the gnomish man, throws it over his shoulder and starts walking. Okay. Uh, you're all within... You know what? The the other four of you make perception checks. You can do it too, Sario, it? to see if you see if you heard what's going okay. on. Perception. Yes. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Twenty-two. Okay. Eighteen. Eight. Ooh. One. <laughs> oh my God! You're rolling terrible I didn't today. Know. I have the curse on me. I don't. I don't have to. Okay, Sario, so, <laughs> you don't hear anything, but you do notice as you're like trying to go, hey, Tor, you do see his face change, and then he appears to concentrate on something that way. Okay. Sashim, Umbra, you both see it. Sashim, you are on the you are on the opposite side of the street as, as Tor, 20 feet across, and you're about 60 feet back. 60 feet back. But keeping an eye on Tor, you can see... That ha you see that incident happen, and you can see Tor is watching it. Umbra, you are on the same side of the street as Tor, 20 feet back from him. So, let me see. I'll call out to Umbra. Ask Tor if he needs our help. I saw it, too. Okay. And you saw the incidents yourselves. You saw yeah. the, these three large human men just bust through the door. And they're, we, we know that they're going after him, though? No, they're not going they're after him. Away. They're, they're, they're bust, it's it's a gem a gem cutter shop. They bust out the out the door. They knock the, the gnomish, which you think is the mark is the, the shopkeeper to the floor. Take his satchel, put it over their backs, and they're walking. Got it. Okay. What do you want to do? Let's get the gems back, man. All right then. Maybe there's a reward in for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is that? Uh... Oh, uh, you're going to intercept them? You're going to yeah, intervene? Yep. Then that'll trigger initiative rolls. Okay. You can roll two, Sariel. Yeah. Um, Because I probably know this new guy, right? I uh, probably know him. Yeah, you've seen yeah. him around, yeah. Here we are. All right. I'm at 11. Sariel, 11. We'll go that way around the table. Ember. Four, fi four, 15. Questions get harder as the night goes on. Shut up. Okay, Nulara. Oh, I'm sorry. I was with you. We'll come back to you. Um, Umbra. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's you're 21. Playing the dog now. There it is. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Tour. Uh, 12. So oh, Wait a minute. I think it was three. Mine was eight before. Yeah, I know. That's right. Laura. Eight. 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 Uh, yeah. Wow. She did better than me. Hey. She was distracted by the dog. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, surprising nobody. Umbra. <laughs> Okay, um, they're running away from us. Like they're 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 not us. running, but they're kind. Of, they're walking with purpose. Walking with purpose after just robbing Smug this guy, box. right? It looks that way, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do. How far in front are they? Thirty feet from you. Okay, so I can't get to them. So I'll snipe. I'll just try to hit the one that's closest to me with. Um, Okay. With a short bow. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 18. No, wait, sorry. Short bow. Uh, yeah, 20. 20 hits. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, it's just a straight roll. Right? Yeah, no one's in melee yet, though. Yeah, we're, we're, not, we're not going after him to kill him. Yeah. yeah, right? Six. Okay. Six. I'll say you hit Ooh. number number two. 
And I will use my bonus action to help Tor and just, you know, okay. like, pat him on the butt and be like, go get him. And Tor, since you brought that up, that you're not looking to kill them, you can declare, if you're in melee, non-lethal damage. You could say, like, I'm hitting him with the blunt end of my axe right. and I'm trying to knock him gotcha. out. It, yeah. it won't change the rolls at all. It's just you're letting me know you're right. not going for kill shots. Right. Which means when they go unconscious, they're not in death saves. You're knocking them out. I got you. Uh, so how do you guys feel about that? We, That's okay. They just run yeah, down. Yeah. We didn't see anything malicious, right? Uh, Ember, you're up next. Uh, you uh, cloud of daggers. Okay. On. The one she shot or one of the other ones? One of the other ones. One of the other ones. Okay. Not we'll say thought. it goes on number one. Okay. Okay, so the famous daggers appear above uh, number one's head. And number two <coughs> takes the arrow on his back, looks over his shoulder. Tor, you're up. I want to go. To, I want to get up to three and see if I could grab him. Okay. Throw him, throw him to the wall. Go He's, for it. I could go right up to him, right? Yeah, you yeah you did easily. Right. So now I want to grab him. So that would that be a strength? Do I have to? That'll be opposed athletics. You roll an athletics check. They roll an athletics check. Okay. So you're trying to grapple him. Right. Yes. Okay. All you, right. You have advantage if you want it. Yeah. To, because you know she helped what? you. I'm gonna do luck with this roll. You don't have to. She helped you. You can roll a second. You can roll again for free. Okay. Take the higher one. Seven. Okay. Seven, and then do I... Add your athletics. Five, so that's a 12. 12. He rolled a 16. Okay. So you reach around, you, gra- you go to grab him, he just turns around knocks your hands off him. Okay. Take your hands off me, big boy. Ooh. Uh, Sariel. I am going to Eldridge Blast 2. Okay. First? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was just me saying that's where my daggers are. Then I'm sorry. I would like to Eldritch Blast one. <laughs> you can Eldritch Blast my dagger guy. I don't mind it. Okay. So first you spend 10 feet of movement to come out of the store and say, what is that? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Roll oh, an attack. Hi, friends. <laughs> Roll an attack, please. 18. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hits. Two. <laughs> Hey, whatever. Damage is damage. And that was on number one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, new Lara. Okay. I will tell you this just to make the combat a little more fun. You guys are almost dead. Not almost. You're all definitely going to level. And this is probably the last combat of the day. So, unload. Ooh. Unload. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know, don't worry about resource management. Drop your bombs. Unload. Oh, right. <laughs> so, Nulara, you got a spell you want to try out? I'm going to do <laughs> that right now. I like that command. I like command. Okay. Um, to command. I'm um, one. Who's on one? Uh, there is... One took the Eldritch Blast. Okay. Sariel stepped out and fired okay. at Okay, who's... Uh, two. Is there two anybody? has a cloud of daggers surrounding his head and an arrow sticking out of his back. Three. Three, nothing. Three, okay. n- not a damn I thing. I want to do three. Command. Okay. What is your command? Halt. Okay. He's walking. He's walking. He's at attention. He's just standing there, arms down, at attention. Okay. All ready for the killing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All righty. They go now. Oh, I didn't go. That's because you rolled the three. <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go. No, they go after her. Oh, they rolled a seven. man, I'm really late. She rolled an eight, they rolled a seven. This is sad. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Okay. Everyone will be tired. Roll me Cloud of Daggers damage for him. 12, uh, uh, 13, 13 damage. 13. He didn't like that. As, the, as they stab him, but he is going to move into Umbra. He's going to move to help his buddy, and they're going after Tor. As they both, as everyone, uh, all three of them draw a longsword. So Tor is going to get four attacks. Yeah. And Umbra's going to get two. What are they? Ogres? No, they're humans. They're humans. They're humans. They're just big. They're just big humans. Two hits and two misses on Tor. Tor, you take... Ooh, 14, 17. You take 20 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Mm. Okay, D12 plus your constitution modifier. 
Oh, jeez. I rolled a one. Can I lose the luck? No, no luck no. on that. But it will, your constitution modifier is a three, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, four. so you take 16. So okay. that's better than taking 20. All right. And the other two. Yeah, but you're concentrating on oh, land. Yeah. Two long sword attacks on you, Umbra. Mm-hmm. Wait, number three is still held, right? Halt? Halt. It's not whole person. He stops. You know what? I think it's a wisdom save. Right? Which he failed. A one-word command. The target must succeed in order to follow the, uh, the spell. Has no f- or follow the command on its next turn. Okay. So I rolled it all at once, and I don't remember who did what. So I'll tell you what, Tor. Take half the damage back. You take eight. Give yourself eight points back. That's, That's the fairest way I could do it because I rolled all all of it at once, and I don't remember who was who. So just take half of that back. Okay. No, no, and it's fine. Please, by all means. Two two attacks on Umbra. It's a miss and a natural twenty. Oh. So what you point? take. No. Three six nine. Yeah. Nine points of slashing damage from the long sword. Now, Sashim, you may play. You may play. You're allowed. <laughs> Fighting magic missile. I can. You could put one on each, sure. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, you said unleash. Okay. Yeah. Okay, magic. On my command, you unleash. Well, I'm, I'm going to try. Okay. Well, no, no. Magic missile just happens. There's no saving okay. throw. There's no roll to hit. I'm it's using a five. magic missile. Oh. Okay. So, so wait, wait, wait. roll 3d4s. So far. And just decide which one is for which. And they each, uh, it's a d4 plus one for each missile. D4 plus one. So yeah, it's plus one to each of the rolls and just say okay. which, one, which one goes on to which one. Five, two, five. Alright, so let me see. Five, five, two. Okay. Umbra, you're up. Alright. I didn't move up, but Tor's in melee, right? Tor is in melee, yeah. Okay. I will shoot them. Three more. Ignoring the guy who attacked you. The guy who attacked me moved up to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. You can. There's no rule that says you um, have to attack him. No, it's fine. Um, I will use one. my katana. Okay. Right. Mm, ten. Ten? Not quite. As you cut through his, his tunic, you feel the scraping against metal, and you can see there is some armor underneath there. Okay. okay. I'll use my bonus action to disengage and, and move away from him. Okay. Ember. I am going to Scorching Ray. Ooh. One on each, three on one. What are you doing? Three on one. Which one? I don't know. Who can I get? You think two? I think any of them. I think you need to make a decision. I want to get three on number two. Three on number two. You got it. Lucky. Okay. I got two. I'm going to quicken. Settle up the damage for that first. Yeah. So four d sixes. 14, 15, 16, 17. Ooh. 17. Quicken and create bonfire. Okay. That's a 16 on the die. His feet are burning. Yes. He, uh, he's doing a hot potato with his feet. <laughs> it's another one damage. Yep. He made his saving throw. Oh, I thought you said you didn't. 16 on the die. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I said. <laughs> I was just adding a little flavor there that he's got to jump around. Like hot no, calls, hot calls, hot calls. Tour. Oh, I uh, bu- 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 Raging on Thank three. You. All right. Reckless. I had a whole plan. Twenty-two. Absolutely hits. Twelve. On three. Okay. Ooh. He didn't like that, and he's just still standing there. <laughs> As you cut him into one of the, the great axe. Excellent. Set you up. Um, I would like to level two dissonant whispers on one. Ooh. Dissonant whispers. He makes a save, but that's half damage. Okay. Wow. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So. So eight. eight. And you put that on number one? Number one. one. Okay. Good. Nulara. Nulara. Three is still up, like that, not moving? Well, on his turn it breaks. Okay, So his turn. He hasn't done anything since then. Okay. That's what I meant. Oh, so we'll have to deal with him? What about Guiding Bolt? Yeah, you can do that Yeah, too. that's what I was thinking of doing. Guiding Bolt. Okay, on who? Third. On number three? Yeah. 
Okay, roll to hit, please. That's a d20. Yep. And add your spell attack bonus. Yeah. Nat 20. Get out of here! Yeah. Nice. Okay. Get all those sixes out. Roll 8d6s, please. Wow! Wow! That's oh. a fireball. Yeah, it's fireball. When you crit with Guiding Bolt, it's, it's a fireball. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I really did that to somebody. <laughs> I was looking forward to it. Are you seriously yeah. going to roll them one at a time? <laughs> Are you seriously going to roll them one at a time? She's rolling them two at a time. Leave her be. Okay. Yeah. I'm leaving her be. This is you me better. leaving her be. She'll She'll slap you. Oh, I know she will. Yeah. Yeah. does <laughs> coming out. Just so everyone knows, the DM has his hands um, folded after he just talked to his mother about? that way. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a punitive child position. If you saw the look I got, podcast listeners, you'd be too. <laughs> Six, nine, ten. Oh, she gave you a look? <laughs> she gave me the mom. Why do you think his hands uh, are folded yeah. like this? Look at him. <laughs> oh, she gave him another one. The, wow. The disciplined child look. <laughs> that wasn't just a look. That was the look. Uh, yep. Okay, 20. 20. 20 on Yeah, she got three ones. Uh, oh. That's alright. 20 damage is 20 damage. As this little bolt of radiant energy sails out of the new Lara's hand, sinking into number three, that will give you advantage on your next hit. You don't need to reckless. Okay. Because whoever hits, whoever rolls an attack on him next has advantage. So is he a crispy critter? He is not a crispy critter, but he's in some pain. Oh. I just look over at new Lara and I just mouth. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I look over at Serial. Do you follow us everywhere? <laughs> well, number two is going to move up to the person of Magic Missile then. Okay. Tor, you can take uh, an attack of opportunity on number one if you want. Fifteen. Plus your stuff? Or is that Twenty. The... Yeah, it hits. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. No, no, I gotcha. I gotcha. So you can roll a d12. Uh, roll your damage. Um, with my Dissonant Whisper. Did they move? He made the save. Oh, that okay. Be, yeah, that effect only works if he fails. Oh, okay. Yeah, if he makes the save, it's half damage, and he doesn't have to do 13. the Thirteen. Got it. Thank you. Ooh. Thirteen on number one. Three. Okay. Number one, right? Was oh, number, number one. one is the one who right. left. Your threat radius, yeah. Okay, so he's moving into Umbra. We'll settle up his longsword attacks. Uh, missing a hit. Umbra, you take five. Sashim... Missing a hit. You take 10. Okay. And Tor, he has advantage because you reckless on him. That's a miss. Ooh, what advantage? That's it. You raged, right? Yes. 10. You take 5. Sashim. Sashim. Booming blade. It's like Shazam. <laughs> <My> <laughs> number, Sashim. Uh, number 2. Uh, I got you. Going after him with oh, a yeah. great sword. Pretty soon you're going to be able to Go do this twice. I can't wait. <laughs> five's a big one. Five's a big level. Oh, no. Was a lot of good stuff happens at five. 19. Then, so it's 25. That absolutely hits. So. And two's the one to move to you, right? Okay, yeah. 11. Ooh. That was you, Umbra. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I'm just going to katana on the guy right in front of me. That is a 19. Hits. Okay. 7 plus 5, 12. Yeah. 12? Got it. Mm-hmm. 12 on number 1, okay. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to disengage and get away from that fucker. Okay. Ember. I am going to Scorching Ray. This is a good one, isn't it? It is good. Your last luck point? No, I still have two, actually. Really? Yeah, I didn't use any in the first battle. Okay. I used to all mine. In the- I rolled a 12, an 11, and a 15. Plus 5. Plus the 11 might not hit. Oh, plus 5? No, plus 6. Plus 6? And your lowest is 11? Yeah. They all hit. Woo woo! Yay, yay! Come on, come on. Wow. And your life is tough. 17. Seventeen? Which one did they go on? Uh, two again. On two? Yep. Two is certain no longer appearing in this combat. Mm. Two? Yep. Yay! Well, that's what I am going to then 
As you're getting ready for another shot, Sashim, you see three bolts of fire all crack that off him, fast. and he hits the ground. And you're <laughs> like, I had that! Yeah, come on, man! <laughs> then I am going to quicken and fire bolt number three. Okay. Okay. 17. Hits. I like yours. Yours is good. Six. Six. On three. Sorry, on three? Yes. Okay. Tor, you're up. Rage on three. Oh, I just attacked. 19. Hits. Eight. 10. 10 damage on three. Ooh. Looking rough. Sariel, you're up. Uh, level two, distant whisper on one. That's a fail. Woohoo! Yay. Let's see if he survives the damage. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, he does, but he is rough. As he holds his head and runs 30 feet this way, screaming. Ah! Into the cloud. Into my daggers! <laughs> sure! <laughs> Why not? He has to move in a straight line. So he goes right into the cloud of daggers. 8, 9, 10. Uh, 13. And dies. Woo! <laughs> All right. He holds his head <laughs> and gets stabbed. Yeah, I'm liking my daggers. <laughs> that was funny shit. <laughs> I wonder if I can light my daggers up. Nulara, you're up. Toll the dead. Toll the dead. Toll that dead, baby. All right, only one left alive. He has to. It's a natural one. Yay! Yeah. Roll a d12, please. You don't add it's anything. Just okay, it's just yeah. seven. Yeah. Would you like to call your shot? Yeah. 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 As I move back. Would I like to call the shot? Uh -oh. Yes. No boy. Would I like <laughs> to call the shot? <laughs> Reach it. Where is it? What, what, what condition is he in? The heart, bad. He's been cut with a great axe. Okay. He's been hit with Eldritch Blast. Cut bad day. A, and he still survives. And he's got burn marks from Scorching Ray. Bad day. Bad day. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> He's realizing maybe he walked into the wrong gem cutter shop. Toll the dead. I think it's a loud bong goes off in his ear. So you might yeah. maybe like his ear like explodes or something. And it like melts. Like, Both eardrums burst. <laughs> wow. She did it. And she dies from evil. agony. <laughs> <laughs> and she what? There's blood trickling. And he dies from agony. I mean, that's from agony. And that's what happens. You see, the, hear the gong and these little streams of blood mixed with perhaps brain fluid and things just start oh, oozing out of his ears. And his eyes roll back and he falls over. Nice. Woo! And don't you forget it. Wow. We're in the wrong place at the wrong time with us, huh? And with that, the, the gnomish man makes his way back to his feet. Oh my god! Thank you! Thank you so much! Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on! He takes this. Oh, you got my, my stones back. Take this as payment. And he hands you um, a ruby about maybe marble size. Looks like it's worth about 200 gold. Wow. Like, Please take this as a sign of gratitude. Thank you so much. Mm. This would have put me out of business. Anything to save business in the town. Thank you, Lady Tremaine. You make good friends. I like them. Keep them around. Not friends with her. Oh, uh, that, 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 that wasn't nice. Awkward. Mm. Turn around and walk away. <laughs> so are we just leave the dead bodies there now? <laughs> I message you. We can't be friends in public. What's wrong with you? Oh, and I message you back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that kind of happened. <laughs> and you guys just stopped the robbery. Well done. Woo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> I.e. the DM really Speech. wanted to throw you some XP. Mm. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, DM. And you guys are on your way to investigate the dead guard, right? That's right, I forgot. It wasn't the dead guard. It was... Uh, you were retracing your the, the Lady Drusilia steps. Drusilia. Steps. Yeah. Drusilia? Is, yeah, Drusilia, yeah. Okay. And that's where we'll pick up. Woo! Thanks for listening to the D&D Grandma and the Family That Games Together D&D Podcast. If you like what you heard, please consider supporting the D&D Grandma Patreon, and feel free to check us out on Twitter at D&D &D Grandma. Thank you, and keep on rolling.